Oh my gosh, wait. What on earth? <gasps> He's dead! He's dead! Oh my god, this is disgusting! I mean, I think he was dead already. But come on! This is nuts! This is disgusting! Is he just dead to overdraft? Five plus 14 damage! So as of right now, this is the best Shaman deck in the game, and albeit it's just by a slight margin, but it is still the best Shaman deck, so it's the one I would highly recommend if you want to play Shaman, and it is the top of tier 2, so it's definitely really, really good to climb with. Now, there are three main ways you can with this deck. One, Attrition and Value. You're able to play things like Lightning Bolt, a really good Perpetual Flame, Feral Spirits to stall out, along with good draw cards like Multicaster and Guidance to generate resources, just keep you ahead of aggro-based opponents, but then the two main ways you're probably going to win is finish your quest and double activating burn cards like lightning bolt serpent train portal and overdraft or double activating cards that build a board like charged call and feral spirits to win the game in the late game now cards you can replace in this deck are probably rust Rot viper and brucan honestly brucan i think is a good card but he's a little bit late game and he is a legendary so obviously not everybody has him or wants to put him in the deck Perfect replacement for both of these cards is Canal Slogger, especially at the beginning of the season when people are playing a lot more aggro-based decks. This progresses your quest, it's good removal, will heal you six, it's phenomenal. And Instructor Fireheart is kind of needed, but if you can't run her, again, Canal Slogger can be perfect replacement for this as well. And mulligans for this deck go as follows. Obviously the quest, but then Lightning Bloom, Guidance, um, Perpetual Flame, especially if you're into something that might be aggro, Sleep Raker, uh, Serpent Shrine Portal and Feral Spirits are the best cards to have in your opening hand. With those, you should be able to finish your quest and snowball the game pretty early on. And don't forget, if you like fun educational content like this, feel free to hit the like button, comment any questions or concerns, and hit the sub button with the notification bell. Let's jump into it. There's so many shamans, what on earth? I mean, again, we're keeping Perpetual. Honestly, I keep Guidance as well. I'm gonna get rid of Overdraft. But dude, Guidance has been an absolute MVP, and even if it's not the most useful, I'll still have a use for it. Even if he plays the thing that summons a bunch of three, two, three fours, like getting Novice Sapper and then just pew 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 killing his entire board, kind of nuts, potentially. I don't think Brucon should be in Burn Shaman. I mean, I don't know, he's definitely fine, and he basically gets a Fireball when you play him, and has the chance to get another Fireball like the next turn. Because you, so you, yeah, you get it, and then you have a one-third chance to get it again the next turn, which is pretty solid, honestly. This is another Burn Shaman. It's a bad matchup. Not looking forward to this at all. I mean, we got one, two, three Overload cards in hand. I think there's a chance that we're able to get everything off. Uh, I'm going to coin Serpent Shrine Portal that, I think. I can Lightning Bloom, Certain try and Portal, Guidance. And then Guidance, and see what we get. And then we can trade Overdraft as just an extra way to draw cards. Um, I'll take both, obviously, because I need the Overload. But Tidal Wave, I mean, if I can coin it out turn 7, and he has a decent board, and we heal up a lot. Like, there's a way that I win this matchup. We know that it's a bad one just in general because of the burn that he can potentially do. And if he draws Vosh Prime and is able to get a ton of free uh, spells, that could be really, really bad. But hopefully he doesn't and we're able to heal up enough. What on earth? I'm gonna be honest, did not expect that in the slightest. Let's play this and use this freeze to freeze the 2-2 and just go face. He doesn't know what these two cards are, which is why I waited to get this wind chill. So now he still doesn't know what these two cards in my hand are. They're still random to him. And the longer I can hold on to these, the better, I think. Okay, it's just a 4-4. I'm fine with that. Lightning Bolt. No, there's no real reason to do that. Let's just freeze this, go face, honestly. Freeze this. Serpent Shrine Portal to get a minion. And then go face with these. Then I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have 
one, two, three, four, five mana required, and I have the coin, so I'll have five mana. Um, if he plays just a couple more minions, I can Perpetual Flame and get an absolutely nasty, nasty thing going. He's gonna freeze a couple of minions, it's not great. Hopefully he doesn't trade into the 3-2, hopefully he just goes face. If he does trade into the 3-2, this does mess up my plan a little bit. Does mess up my plan a little bit here. I guess I don't have to Perpetual Flame. But I'm gonna be down all of my burst if I do this. So let's just go with this to draw a card first. And then we can wind chill this and draw another card. Honestly, I'm fine with this. Instructor Fireheart will hero power um, and we'll pass. I wanna get a really insane turn in. I don't wanna use up all of my burn. I really don't. I would like to do it with, oh my god. I'm actually so upset about that. Uh, I'm gonna do this. I will go revolve, I think, actually. Devolving missiles might miss. And I do not want that to happen. So we'll just go with revolve. Into... Interesting. Wait a minute. No, he, we could kill him this turn, actually. We can actually just straight up do, like, tons and tons and tons of damage. We can go boom. And then lightning bolt this. And then perpetual flame. Lightning Bolt, Coin Overdraft. And I don't even know if that's lethal. But it goes after the Death Rattle. And it finishes a lot of the cards here. And we're gonna do three plus like 12 damage. It's not gonna be enough to kill him, but it's gonna be a lot of damage. And we can finish the quest next turn. We have ways of healing. And if we can draw Multicaster or Brucan, we win. I mean, that was really, really good. And if he plays another board, we just Lightning Storm and get Brucon. That Revolve went really, really well. As soon as I played the Revolve and saw that all of his minions are low HP, I was like, wait. And then I saw the thing that spawned four more minions, and I was like, wait, 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 wait. I can just straight up win here. And I just need him to not burst me this turn, and then I can maybe finish him off this turn. Oh, no. Oh, no. I love seeing that, though, man. It's so much fun. Losing to shenanigans. Guidance is fine. We do that. Maybe we went off of it. Maybe we don't. Wait, we just played Rukan and we lightning bolt him. We don't even need to try to find it with this. We just go boom and lightning bolt him. Okay, that was pretty good. That went crazy. That was a crazy turn. I actually loved that. That's, dude, Perpetual Flame is so dumb with Overdraft. Why? Why does that exist? We're not gonna keep Multicaster, although he is probably one of the best card draw cards in the entire game, and neutral. Not worth it, but Lightning Bloom's good, and Overdraft we can just trade away, so it's not a big deal. But yeah, that Druid basically just had, like, the most nuts hand I've ever seen in my life. And my hand was fine. It actually did pretty well early, it's just... I kind of needed an early overdraft. Oh, you're aggro? Of course you're aggro, dude. Sleep Breaker, actually an amazing turn two play. Basically saves my turn two single-handedly. What was I gonna do, overdraft instead? No. I think I should be fine in this matchup if I can find an early Perpetual Flame and I just need to keep overdraft. You know, I say that, but I have to play around the stupid beasts and I don't really know how to do that, so. We'll see what happens. Lightning Bolt, interesting. I need a cycle, so I might as well just do that and then trade away the Rust Rot Viper because this is an awful card. Multicaster. Um. One, two. We can pop off next turn. We've played none. We can go boom, 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 and boom, and then play Multicaster. And basically, just do whatever we want that turn. We're gonna be way overloaded, but we actually won't be because that's the whole point of the first part of the quest. 
In okay, we need to kill that 2-4 off, so let's get on that. 2-1-3s. Perfecto. And then we'll do this. And then we're going to have to hope for... You're really good. Then we can do this for zero. We're not overloaded anymore. We play this for four, and then we have Serpent Shrine Portal to kill off the two four. And then we're not overloaded. We draw a buttload of cards and we kill off the two four. So we can't combo off anymore. Actually, it went super duper well. Okay. We didn't even need Perpetual Flame. Don't get me wrong, Perpetual Flame would have been, you know, very nice, but I guess we didn't really need it. You know what would be good right now, though? Perpetual Flame. Your next challenge heavenly, heavily plays into your ch the choice you make. So choose wisely. Which class is the strongest in the game currently? Define, again, define strongest. Do you mean, like, all around with the most powerful decks? Because I think that would be Shaman, because it has the widest variety of decks. But in terms of the deck with the highest win rate, it's probably Druid or Hunter. So, I don't... I'm bad at making choices. I'm good at making excuses. I'm gonna be Guidance Perpetual Flame Overdraft his face. Get absolutely dumpstered, you silly, silly fool. And then we can do this and get one extra dude. Might as well. Yeah. Get wrecked. I took the Perpetual Flame, so I won this game. Last game, I didn't have the Perpetual Flame, so I lost. But this one... Pretty sure I win because I have Perpetual Flame. Um, I'm gonna take the Geomancer. It's just a cheap, uh, Thanks to you. it's just a cheap card. And I mean, even if he does have the combo now with another Elune or whatever, um, it's not that bad. Acorn, okay. That's fine. Don't think I really care too much about him. I mean, if I Lightning Bolt, Lightning Bolt, is that really good? I'm gonna say no, it's not really good. Instructor Fireheart's better late game. But I mean, she's not too shabby now. Worst case, best case scenario, oh, three damage, Storm Strike, actually fine. I could have saved her for like, dummy late game, but I don't think that that would have been worth it. I just want another Overload card so I can do something. Revolve is fine, but I think Serpent Shrine Portal is better. We can't play it now, but we'll just kill this off, go face with the rest. And now we can finish off the quest and even maybe burst him down for 12 damage. As long as we can get one minion to go face, we burst him with this, then this, this, this. Next turn. This must be the way. Answer. Yes, no. <laughs> but I think the strongest class in the game, I guess, is the class with the most all-around good stuff. So I guess I would have to say Shaman is the strongest. Oh my gosh, he actually has managed to survive. I cannot kill him. Wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five... Six, seven. That's lethal, right? Because this is zero. Then this is two. And then boom. 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 But yeah, like Hunter, I think, has the one of the best decks in the game with Face Hunter. Druid has Beast and Aggro, which are very, very similar, but technically different decks. But Shaman has Quest, Freeze, Aggro, Bolner, OTK. It's just got such a wide variety of decks, and this is one of them right now. Okay, so you guys can't see the handy, but I can't. This is really, really good. We're going to keep this. These are two of the highest win rate cards for Quest, Shaman, in the opening hand. The only better cards are Guidance and Lightning Bloom. Actually, that's not true. Guidance isn't... Guidance isn't there. Feral Spirit, Sleepbreaker are the highest win rate. Perpetual Flame is the highest, but only against aggro matchups, I'm assuming, because it's kept less frequently. So I'm assuming Perpetual Flame is only that high because it's only good versus certain matchups. But if this is an aggro elemental shaman and he plays something cheap early on, 
and plays a couple of other cheap little minions, Perpetual Flame will pop off and be absolutely nuts. And that looks like that's what this is going to be. Um, so I think I want to play this. And then just pass. Then if he coins out the 2-5, I don't care. If he coins out the 3-2, perpetu uh, Perpetual Flame, like this is perfect. Yes, Perpetual Flame does overload me a little bit much here, but... I don't know, does he coin wind chill you're trading interesting well if he's gonna trade i'm just gonna play feral spirits then that'll still kill these off and again if he's gonna trade there's no reason for me to perpetual flame i only need to do that if he floods the wood he's gonna play the four four stone yeah stone after stone we are going to play another one of these, and then just go face. We want to save the Restaurant Viper just in case he's going the Doomhammer version. I know it's not the most common version, but it is something I do want to note that it does exist. Does he play the... Oh, no, 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 no. That is... that is bad. Actually, no, it's not. This is fine. Wind chilling my minion, we perpetual flame, we're not gonna be overloaded at all. And this, my friends, is why perpetual flame is the highest win rate card in this deck. Because we're not even gonna be overloaded. We're just going to hero power and pass. Next turn, I think it's gonna be Lightning Bloom Brucon. I don't really feel the need to um do anything else that turn or trade away the restaurant viper because again it could be the doomhammer version just in case if he plays the three okay it is doomhammer so we're gonna play restaurant viper next turn you're going to play doomhammer next turn and i think technically it would be better to go brucon here but I also kind of want to save it to heal up. Let's just play Multicaster, honestly. I'll draw a fire um, and a freeze. These aren't nature, though. I'll only draw two cards off of this. Whereas if I go Lightning Bloom into this, I heal more. And I can get two Taunt minions. And it just gets out on the board sooner. Let's just do this. I'll just get two Taunt minions. It's fine. And then... I guess I can deal damage to his board. There's nothing to heal. Dealing damage to him doesn't really do anything. Like, I'll outvalue him anyway when I finish my quest. So let's just kill off his minions. I don't care about dealing six. It's fine. Two more taunt minions. Beautiful. That's a beaut right there. Then we're going to go Restaurant Viper on his Doomhammer because he runs Rockbiter Weapon. It's dead. And then we Hero Power. And then he probably concedes. Might just concede now. Did he win the last game? No. It was Burn Shaman, he played a spell damage dude and basically just killed off my... I had 18 health I think, or 15 or something. And he did enough to get me to negative like 5 HP, so it was not a great one. We're gonna kill off the weapon, get some taunt minions, go face pass. Dealing damage to his face is fine, we can do that in multicaster to draw a bunch of cards. We get extra taunt minions. I feel pretty good right now. I think this is a dub. I think this is a solid dub. A W. Storm Strike. He's gonna kill off two of the taunt minions. That's no biggie. Tone of Might, that's fine. I mean I hero I multicaster first to see what I draw, technically. That is the smart thing to do. No, we play this. We'll take the tradable one because again it's tradable. Uh, and then we'll do this, and now we get to draw four hearts. I've heard of it. And now... I can't quite finish this off, so I'm just gonna go boom. And I got extra stuff, so I'll freeze that for now and go face. Next turn, I basically guaranteed win. I get to play Guild Trader for three, Serpent Shrine Portal for three, Guidance and overdraft and that will be enough to kill him even if he somehow wipes my board or heals up a bunch Cool got him nice 
This is why we kept the- this is why we didn't trade the rest of our Viper in this matchup. I'm gonna keep Perpetual Flame on the off chance it's Shadow Priest. I've seen a lot of Shadow Priests recently, and I personally was playing Shadow Priest not too long ago, so I genuinely think that it might be. And if it's Quest, Perpetual Flame's not gonna be that useful, but worst case scenario, if he has like one minion- Oh my gosh, he got rid of his leftmost card. Oh my gosh, am I- am I a genius? Did I- did I not get the hardest read in the entire world? Am I not goaded, chat? Am I not goaded? Somebody has to follow me for that one, right? Gotta get at least a follow for that one, right? I'm not gonna Perpetual Flame that. Call me crazy, but just one minion, Perpetual Flaming? Nah, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Uh, what is happening? It is worth it. I'm trolling. Uh, it's okay. We get rid of the Divine Shield. Yes, 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 I know you get one. Wait. No, I'm not trolling. Boom Perpetual. Okay, that's fine. Okay, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. We're not overloaded at all. We get to play Feral Spirits the following turn. Turn five or six will be Instructor Fireheart. I mean, yes, this does kind of suck. But we did able we were able to deal with that initial board, and I feel like once we deal with the initial board from a priest like this, it should be fine, just smooth sailing the rest of the game. Because now the only card that might be bad is maybe Mancrick. But even then, I'm not really that concerned. If he plays the 1-3, I kill it. He does that, I kill the 3-2, I don't really care. We just play this for 4. Probably kill off the 1-1. One, one. It'll get healed back up. This thing loses to a 2-3 anyway. Yeah, once you deal with the initial board, it's just not worth it. Okay, I might have trolled a little bit there. Not killing the 3-2. I'll admit, maybe a smidge greedy, but... We still just get to trade, trade, and I mean, the game is basically over from this point. We just do so well at controlling the board. We do have to kill the 2-1. Oh. Too much power. Uh, we're gonna go boom, and we're gonna freeze the 3-2. Because it's annoying. And then, honestly, I guess we'll freeze the 2-3 as well, and just kill off this and that. Boom and boom. Yeah. Did I or did I not get the hardest read in the world? Many of you probably thought it was a control quest or death rattle priest, but not me. I... I'm smarter than that. I knew. It's gonna be tour guide. It's gonna be such a useless. Go oh, he should have shot me, I think. But whatever. To each their own. I've overloaded one, so we can go. Boom, 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 and then totem. We are in such a good spot now. Like the game's literally over, unless he runs like voracious reader, which I guess. Wouldn't even be that bad, to be honest. But unless he runs Voracious Reader, he has no way of drawing enough cards. Like, Ray's Dead gets him two, but they're not going to be that strong. Kills off a 3-1. I don't really know what he's stalling for at this point. Yeah, he's just done. Got him! I don't think either of these are keepable, I'm going to be honest. I like- I've been trying to focus a little bit more on my mulligans recently. So, like, if we look at Quest Shaman, uh, obviously the quest is a high win rate. But Guidance, Frost or Feral Spirits, Sleep Raker, Serpent Shrine Portal. I mean, Novice Zapper is actually not bad if he ends up being B, so I'll keep that. And it's in the top 50% of cards. And Sleep Raker is extremely good, so I'm very happy about that. Another Novice Zapper is not the worst. We'll probably save them for a little bit later. Probably a play where you get to do something massive with them together. Um... Let's see here. Multicaster, not bad. That'll help me draw some cards late game. He's going um, Ramp Druid. Hopefully I can outvalue him with my quest completion. But we shall see, won't we? We shall, in fact, see. He's going to hit that once. I'm going to hit him in the face. We're going to probably just totem. Uh, Lightning Bloom is not bad. We're just gonna totem hit face. Maybe it's healing or taunt. And it's not either. 
I don't know. I mean, potentially we could pop off here. Especially on like, once we get five mana, we could pop off. He's gonna play Guff soon. I just want something to freeze. Freeze, see what we draw. Feral Spirits. Definitely not bad. I'm 100% down with this. Then it's gonna go Lightning Bloom, Novice Zapper, Multicaster. Glowfly Swarm, not at all expected. Perpetual Flame, <gasps> oh my god. We actually got Perpetual Flame. I repeat, we actually got Perpetual Flame off the freaking top. It's beautiful. I think it's gonna go Lightning Bloom, Perpetual Flame, and then Multicaster. And then that'll be three separate things, right? Into Perpetual, into Multicaster to draw me three cards and go face with these two. And I think at this point he's probably going to just concede. We'll see what we draw. Um, I don't think I want to drop Novice Zapper, actually. Overdraft, I could trade that away. Lightning Bloom's great though. Honestly, one, two, three. I'm coming, I'm coming. I can freeze this again. I don't think there's really a minion I particularly want to freeze really, really badly. So I can go like boom, 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 and then overdraft next turn. And almost finish the quest. Oh my gosh, wait. What on earth? He's dead! Oh my god, this is disgusting! Oh my god, this is disgusting! I mean, I think he was dead already, but come on! This is nuts! This is disgusting! Is he just dead to overdraft? Are you serious? I can't attack. I think he's just dead to overdraft, or maybe he conceded. Five plus 14 damage. Oh my god. Um, get rid of overdraft. We'll take Feral Spirits, though. Feral Spirits is pretty good. I like that. Oh my gosh, this is the god tier turn one again. I hate how disgusting. How absolutely disgusting this deck is and how consistently I'm getting like the best opener. Oh my god, we also got that. That's nuts. Oh my gosh. Remember when there was a one mana invoke Galakron card that drew him Oh wait a minute. Now wait just a minute, my good sir. That is fascinating to me. I don't I don't hate that at all. I really don't hate that. I'll probably freeze the 4-4 when he ends up summoning it and play Primordial Studies and do all that jazz. Uh, okay, fair enough. I don't really mind that. Let's see here. We'll do this. We get this. We can do that and Perpetual Flame and kill everything. We don't get to use the Overdraft with it, but it's still so nuts, man. It's just a nuts play. Because it goes after the death rattle, and I'm not overloaded at all, and then I have enough mana to play Guidance afterwards. Like, that's disgusting. No punish for playing that whatsoever. And then we go Guidance. And obviously take both. Dude, this is so nuts. I feel so gross playing this deck. This deck is 13 and 4, man. I mean, yeah, some of the games are like 20 days ago. Because I play these decks kind of spaced out, but still. It's so strong. You're so close, don't drop the hate it ball now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know, this has been a fun, like, good stream. I've been in a good mood this whole time. So, I haven't needed to say I hate this. Correct. Um... Interesting. I'll just freeze him, go face, honestly. Freeze. 
Have I played a nature spell yet? Wait, this is just five damage. Oops. That's just five damage. I didn't need to freeze it. I just wasted a freeze. It's fine. I'll play Multicaster next turn. It's fine. I was like, I've got four damage, four damage, and then this doesn't add up. I added the spell damage to this one, but not the other one, is basically what I'm saying. A little weird. He's just done. Yeah, we basically won the game. We have Frostbite. Overdraft is at least one. Yeah, it was game. 